Chinese things that you could rent in Japan. And um, it stated a lot of different things you could rent, but the very end of the article it stated that you could rent people. And so I uh, did some uh, research, a lot of research, and then uh, I found Luigi and I went to visit him. Our first couple of meetings were in a, in a car. In his car, he didn't want to meet me anywhere else, and I was kind of uh, wondering why that was happening. And then uh, he told me that his wife didn't know about it, and then um, we had to come up with some stories for me to film, but not know, her knowing about it. So the cover up was that I was making a film about a, a Japanese uh, culture and Japanese families in like in a general perspective. Then I was young then for three and a half years and um, then he was done. It took a long time and he was uh, he wanted to go uh, get out of the film a few times. For example with the earthquake in uh, 2011. <laughs> Che, che cosa trovi di simile con, con la tua cultura danese? I, know, I think in general we have a general uh, pride in, in being truthful and being as honest as possible. But in Japan it's the, it's the total opposite. If you're very truthful and very open and just speak your mind, you're being very rude and um, obnoxious and that's not seen like you're calm. Those differences are really something that, that interests me a lot. There was one scene that really made me think, and that was the scene where the two, where the couple is sitting in front of the car, telling each other that this has all failed, and saying things that you only hear in a drama of Strindberg. How did you manage to get to the point? He was telling um, him a lot of things through me, so I was kind of like uh, someone she could talk to. Uh, she could talk to, to him through me, and, um, and I felt that was very evident of their relationship that they can't talk to each other anymore. And so my presence there opened up and, uh, and made them uh, communicate more and tell a, a bigger story about personal happiness and uh, secrets in life. sempre più oltre insomma schiava un po' di alcuni modi di comportarsi quindi alcuni rituali relativi alla loro cultura quindi questo rispetto per, per l'altro questa paura di offendere di ferire eh, il proprio interlocutore ma anche un familiare il mi è piaciuto il film è, è un po' shocking però è, succede qualche volta così